I've long said on this uh, channel that the economy is not the stock market, that the stock market is not a reflection of the economy anymore because most people don't have any vested interest in stocks anymore. Most people, you know, that had some stocks got blown out in 2008. I know some people still hold on, you know, they got they got some stocks in their IRAs and whatever and uh, their retirement funds, but you know, the, the the fact is if you know anything about Wall Street, you know that those uh, funds are always always subject to manipulation. When the market goes down, you know, the stock market, people say, oh, stock market's a Ponzi scheme. But really, the stock market is more of a, uh, it's, it's the child, childhood game hot potato. It's like the potato's hot, and you get the potato, and then someone hands it to you, and you say, oh, shit, it's hot, and you pass it to the guy next to you, right? And, and you're good. Once you pass that potato, right, it's, you're, you're out of the game, right? And that's what Wall Street is. They play hot potato all day long. And some of them are holding that potato, right? And uh, but eventually, someone gets caught holding the potato. And when the markets crash, you're the you're the guy holding the potato, because they manipulate the markets. They short the they short stock and sell. They make money on the way down, right? They clear out their positions while you're holding the basket because you're long. You're holding that hot potato, and the markets crash. So what's going on right now? So Trump is. Um, uh, so the market right now, let's just take a look. It's down. It's going to open. It opened down 400. Uh, I'm looking at the, uh, the the NASDAQ. S&P is down a little bit. But why? Because China, right? Trump has got his foot in his mouth about China again. He's going to start a trade war. Well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll give you the details. But let's just look at the effect. All right, now, the market, this is 2009, the big crash of 2008, 2009. Remember when it crashed down over here? The... Um, the Dow was all the way down to 7,300, uh, right? and the uh, S&P was 700. Remember those days when the markets were all the way down like that? Check it out. Check it out. Yo, check it out. History in the market. In the markets, everything is, is reflected in price. So when you look at the S&P and you look at the Dow, they're, they're pretty much identical. Same crash, just the values are different. This number... The S and P went all the way down to I think uh, as far as six six hundred and sixty. Uh, I think it actually hit the number of the beast six six six, and now it's only twenty nine hundred. So it, it's quadrupled six twelve eighteen twenty four thirty six. Uh, it's quadrupled, you know. Uh, and um, so what am I trying to say? What's Conti trying to say? I'm going to tell you in a second. I just want you to see the. And most people don't know what the hell they're looking at, right? See, everything's reflected in price. Right? I don't. I don't look at the fundamentals. What I don't look at the story of the company. You just look at the the basic, the basic um, money. Right? Things are worth what someone's willing to pay. It's like eBay. You know, oh, it says something's only worth what someone's willing to pay. You could try to get a hundred dollars for a piece of garbage, but if someone's only willing to pay three dollars, then that's what it's worth. It's not worth a hundred dollars because you say it is. It's worth what what someone's willing to pay. And that's the premise of charts, technical analysis, that everything's reflected in price. All right, so, so right now we're down 370. It seems to be rebounding. I don't have, this is not live. This is just Yahoo Finance, cheap, uh, cheap free stuff, right? But you do see right here, right? This is, this is the state of the economy right here. And it, in terms of the Dow, am I in the Dow? Which one am I in? In the Dow, yeah, Dow. So you see the tops right here. You see how these tops, top, top, and top. You see how it's topped out three times and it's making. Now it's challenging that. See the the market's like war, right? Over here, Venezuela. See how it how it you know war in Yemen, right? They saw remember when Trump said we're going to pull the troops out of Yemen, or we'll pull the troops out of Syria, and the market started to tank because the market's like war. They like that stuff, right? They you know in Syria. Right? And, um, you know, and now Trump, Trump vetoed the, the effort to end the war in Yemen and keep the money machine going, keep the arms flowing into Saudi Arabia, the people that are, are, are running that, uh, that war. We're, we're sponsoring it, but the Saudis are running it, right? And uh, Trump used the veto power to, to, to allow, to override Congress and allow the war in Yemen in our name to continue. And you see how the how the market's like that. The market stays up. Right? So what else? Now Russia, China, 
tensions, right? Let's talk about the China tension because that's the new one. Right? So the S&P closed on Friday at a new all-time high. It did. I just showed you that. With hardly a concern in the world and nothing but blue skies ahead. And then just two tweets from Donald Trump shortly after noon, shortly after noon on Sunday afternoon, shattered the market's idyllic, idyllic picture when the U.S. president admitted that trade talks with China are not only not going optimistically, but have effectively collapsed and tariffs on China imports would be hiked. Right? right here. Trump sharply escalated tensions between the world's two largest economies with tweets, uh, comments on Sunday that trade talks with China were proceeding, quote, too slowly. And he would raise tariffs on $200 billion of Chinese goods to 25% on Friday from 15, from 10%. So he's going to jack up the trade uh, tariff 15% on Chinese goods, right? And so this is an interesting chart. The Wall Street and the, and the uh, street looks at something called the VIX, the VIX volatility index. And you can see the volatility index spiked uh, dramatically right? uh, in one day, overnight. We, we, see, that's how news affects the market. Do you understand? It's not, it's not money. It's, it's news, right? So war is good. War is good for the economy. When there's war, you get this, this, this right? It was Trump is saying, oh, pull out of Syria, pull out of Syria, and the market starts to collapse, right? Because of the military-industrial complex. But, war, but then he's saying, oh, no, no, Yemen, he's going to veto the Yemen bill. Veto the Yemen bill, right? Start a war in Venezuela, get the oil, get the oil, get the oil, right? That's how it works, right? Now it's like, you know, tariff in China. Trump, I've always said from the beginning that I don't know, I believe Trump doesn't know anything about, he doesn't know anything about microeconomics or macroeconomics. He was a salesman. He's a real estate, a real estate salesman. He sells the goods, right? They don't know you know, most of Trump's apartments, right, even in Trump Tower, are shitty. They got a big, you know, big, beautiful um, hallway and, and such. And then you go into the apartments and you got to duck your head to get in. Right? That's how most people describe Trump Trump um, apartments. All right, so, so that's all. This is a brief video that uh, Trump is, uh, is, is turning the screw on China, right, because why? China is not. China's invested in Venezuela. Venezuela is a, is a trigger right now. Right? You got to you got to look at that. You got to look at all the 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 episodes around the uh, the world. China never takes money off the table for politics or for humanitarian nonsense. They don't they don't do it right. But U.S. will do it right. So everything was going fine. They were going to put back the Trump declared that oh no talks on China tariffs till after the election right. And that didn't that didn't pull so well. So so now Trump is squeezing China's balls to to uh, with a trade deficit, right? And 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 not trade deficit by jacking up the tariff by fifteen percent. And you see how it affects the markets. Right? So let's see if he does it. Is it is it a good thing for America? Is it a good thing? No, it has, it's, it's it's ridiculous. It has no the the idea is to tax the corporations, right? That he. He gave free tax breaks to all the corporations. He's a fool, a blundering idiot, right? You're giving all the power to the oil companies in, in, in your foreign policy in Venezuela, for example. Saudi Arabia bought a, a $80 billion in weapons and, and has a nuclear, war contra, a nuclear bomb contract with the U.S. And what do you do? You, you, you escalate the war in Yemen. That's, the, that's their breeding ground. That's the way they, they, you know, they invoke... Uh, Islamic terror around the around the world, right? and and you you're sponsoring that, you're sponsoring it. Right? So, so that's the state of our economy. That's the state of uh, Trumpism, Trumpwasm. Hopefully, in 2020, one-term president. Come on, let's go, let's go. Time to go, time to go. One-term president. I I know he he served his purpose. He bashes the media. They're so bad. He's going to drain the swamp, right? And he he replaced the swamp with a new swamp. Right? Uh, he gives the ta he gave tax breaks to all the billionaires. Uh, it's time it's time to go. Uh, it's time to go. Let's get some let's get some real policy on the table. Universal health care for all, you know, college tuition at city and state universities. Let's get the let's get the so that, that the, the students can eat again. You heard? <laughs> students, <laughs> they can't eat. Uh, you gotta cut get rid of all those um those the this the uh, tax 
giveaways to to uh, to the six large banks that got thirty eight billion dollars for no reason right, last year. They get thirty eight billion dollars a year. You got to close all that stuff, right? You got to get the money out of politics. You got to you got to like you got to get overturn these five hundred thirty five senators and congressmen. Get one integral president. I I say Bernie Sanders. I think that that's the guy to do. Uh, you put him in there and you overturn Congress and, and the Senate and you bring it back down to size. Deflate the oligarchy. Deflate these corporations. Right? Stop the military industrial complex. Stop the pharmaceutical industrial complex. Right? Take care of our own for, for a change. Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of this channel. And also, uh, if you want to make a one-time, pay, a one-time contribution, uh, PayPal. You could also go on eBay and buy some... Uh, Free stickers, not free stickers. They're five, five bucks, six for five, right? on eBay, and um, that's how we keep the thing floating in this age of censorship and demonetization here on YouTube. Also, YouTube is unsubscribing people. Hit that subscribe button. Marcus Conti reporting.